So hello everyone, this is Dhiraj Misa and welcome to this video. In this video, we are talking on some of the common doubts FGCS students feel and some of the doubts regarding the time management, the CP competitive programming development and course management, also about the projects, assignments, internship, every common questions in your mind we will be discussing in this video with our senior Bhaya whose name is Asis. So let's take his introduction from his, himself. He can introduce himself better than me. So here we go. Hello Dheeraj. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me over to your channel so that I could share my experience as well as I could answer a few of your questions. My name is Ashish Chatterjee and I'm a BTEC undergraduate student from National Institute of Technology Sikkim and right now I'm working at an edtech company known as geeks for geeks so I have a collection of questions we will be discussing in this video and the first question for you Vaya is the time management the common question we feel that how long we should do coding because we listen that uh, someone is doing six hours of coding someone is doing two hours of coding and this is a little bit confusing that how long should we code how do we manage our time between the course community programming development answer your first question Dheeraj Bhai uh, when it comes to time management when it comes to learning coding it's not about the intensity right it's about the consistency now i have a few friends that have landed good packages at very renowned companies like google amazon now the thing is how did they land such packages how did they learn coding how did they grow up to that level the main reason behind it is they were consistent I would notice them like uh, they would be practicing coding every single day for at least two hours a day right now whether be it vacation or your normal classes you have to be practicing coding every day because it's all about the habit once you start coding regularly you will understand and whenever you face any kind of new problems you will be prepared right because you'll have that past experience so not only coding be it every any field in life it's not just about the intensity it's not just about the dedication it's about the consistency right as it said that you have to be afraid of like you don't need to be afraid of person who knows thousands of moves but you need to be afraid of that person who has practiced one move every single day so that principle works in coding as well you have to be practicing every single day now you know there will not be time like you'll not get time semester it's very busy you know engineering it's like uh, hell you'll not get time but you have to find your time if you want to land in a good company with a good package right you have to be practicing coding every single day okay i have the second question in my thought that is the development versus competitive programming so here is a very big confusion among us that we should go with way of competitive programming or development as you said whether dev or cp right whether software development or competitive programming now each one of it has its like own merits as well as demerits but i but i personally prefer sde right now why development because now when it comes to competitive programming let us understand in layman's term right in competitive programming what will you be doing you will be coding for the project right you will be writing the code in actual right now talking about the developer what you will be doing you will be using the tools you will be using the libraries right now it depends upon you whether you will be using mysql mongodb now that depends upon you when to use right there are many things but the thing is you will not be writing the actual code now there will be teammates your teammates will be writing the code and you'll be implementing that right but one advantage i get uh, over like uh, as a software developer gets over uh, competitive programming is that you'll be communicating with the project manager right uh, in competitive programming you will generally not be uh, like uh, talking to the project manager you you will not develop that communication skills but when you are in a developer uh, you are a developer at that time you have to communicate with the team you have to communicate with the project manager and basically that will help you eventually develop your communication skills that is the advantage i find in developer over competitive programming now that depends upon interest i am not biased towards developers right uh, now that depends upon your interest if you are interested in coding very much interested in coding you believe that you can write great code then cp is the way to go but if you are interested in using tools libraries 
right you are like the the codes are already written right you are interested in using that then at that time developer is the way to go so these are like completely different fields and it depends upon your interest i'm not discouraging anyone everything we saw the first result come in our google source is from gft so i myself have explored many things on gft so i want to ask you via yeah, what are the benefits of using gfz as you said you already working in gfz so i think you may can explain this topic better and what are the stops project and many things we can get from gfz so you may please clarify this question since i've been working with the geeks for geeks for almost 7 months now i have uh, like i've gone through like almost everything in the platform covered right now when it's a geeks for geeks geeks for geeks is not just an edtech brand it covers almost everything now talking about btech life you'll be finding your code you'll be finding your resources for study you'll find it in geeks for geeks right and not only that you'll be finding like you can prepare for your interview through geeks for geeks whether it's a service based company or a product based company you'll find that in geeks for geeks you can prepare for your interview as well as you there is a portal known as get hired portal right there you can go and you can apply for the jobs so that's there so it's like it covers almost everything your btech life your education resource geeks for geeks will be providing that for you you want to prepare for the internship you want to do courses that's also available on geeks for geeks and at the end if you want to apply for the jobs even get hired portal is there in geeks for geeks so it's an all rounder thing and since it's a reputed brand right it's a reputed brand it's a well renowned brand in india so it's good that you associate with geeks for geeks and but i'm not just biased to geeks for geeks there are other platform as well where you can learn now it depends upon you where you want to learn right platform does not do anything until and unless you have the motivation to learn determination to learn so no platform can help you but geeks for geeks is a very trusted platform that you can use for your development no there is way as you said off campus internship at geeks for geeks or some other company now some other company means if you are doing it in a reputed company or if you are doing it in a uh, like uh, internships from in an institute of technology like iits so that's a different thing but if you are doing internship for some private some private concern right like that's not that well renowned and if you compare it with geeks for geeks doing internship at geeks for geeks is much better the thing is the main thing about internship is it's not just about the certificate no one really cares about your certificate no one really cares about your internship but the thing is internship why it matters it matters because like it's not that it's about the certificate but the thing is what you learn from that internship how you grow in that internship right you'll get exposure to the industrial work and how will you you learn from it you will grow from it that matters now when it comes to your resume like uh, resume some xyz uh, company you are working in and geeks for geeks you are working in now if an interviewer sees your resume so geeks for geeks having a certificate from work experience from geeks for geeks which is a very renowned company in india your interview will also be knowing about geeks for geeks right so that will be a value valuable addition to your resume but at the end of the day as i already said it's not just about uh, the certificate that you get from the internship right it's about the experience that you get from the internship and geeks for geeks have like very good mentors since i personally know them they are very good mentors so if you want to apply for internship at geeks for geeks then definitely you should be uh, going right not just for the certificate but for something that you will uh, learn and cater in your life so in the main process i want to tell you something interesting that gfg is recruiting for campus mantri so what is campus mantri campus mantri is who is representing his college in gfg you will get noticed by the gfg so apply now i am providing the link in the description so that you can apply easily so at last i am hoping suggestions from your side for me and for all my folks who are watching this video so my final suggestion for the students is that my juniors whoever are watching this video so uh, always be consistent in your like your if you are there for the classes you go for the classes if there is a cultural fest if there is there are moments to enjoy cherries right because at the end of the day when you'll be landing for a good job you'll be doing the job you'll miss all these moments like because this btech life it will teach you everything it will engineering is something that will prepare you for life so you have to enjoy everything you have to do everything right you have to try out everything so 
I would like to wish you all the best. Please be consistent and I hope uh, you'll be doing good in life. I wish you all the best for your future. Again, thank you very much Dheeraj Bhai for inviting me over here. Um, if possible, we will do a few more collaborations in the future. Thank you so much.